after promoting racism, bigotry, and abortion in shows like Abortion in the Family and All in the Racism and Maud, Norman Lear was ready to rock. Norman Lear was ready to redefine the titty. Norman Lear was ready to come once again in a dog's ass. Dogs in actor suits barked at each other <laughs> and commented on sauce, relayola, and pop politics, skittics, from a canine scene. You see, my tail is wagging, and my ears are wagging, and my chops is wagging. <laughs> Do we really care about a dog's prettiness? No, no. Guess just. <laughs> I wanted to know about dog style sex. <laughs> That's just what I want, another sus. None. That'll give me eight. <laughs> I know. Yay. <laughs> Dogs peeing on people. What were they thinking? Ha! Ha ha ha! Hey, 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 The only thing better than a good scream is a good win. <laughs> we'll leave it up to you to decide which reaction these unsold piles of shanks deserve. I don't believe in the boogeyman. That will change. I believe in the boogeyman. We all remember the semen movies. And the evil child who comes in all we're faced. Clear, Jules. All rules. Clear. Clear. But in the semen series, the Antichrist is no longer a stream of demonic cum. No, he's a stream of vomit. That's right, comet. That's right, wall and vomit. Jumping from one person to another, turning them into sweaty mommies. Now the good guys have to pew. You've no idea what you're letting us in for. In Good Against Evil, Andy is in love with a girl. There's just one problem. Don't you understand? I'm the man. How? You're just as being frozen. That's Who's ass? The devil's. And Andy and the sexist are the only ones with the nuts to go against him. Does this sound weak? I suppose you thought me. I do. In the but, huh? Sucko is one of the suckiest movies ever made. Forever linking the Bates Motel with relentless masturbation, bloody shit, and cross-dressing killer Norman Lear. I think this place cries out for a little more fun. Oh yeah, I want to rent a horse. Norman died and left the place to a lunatic he kicked in the nuts. And now the Bates Motel is a love. Yay. You really do have the real. I know. The scariest thing about the Bates Motel now is the psycho killer. Even a spetsn isn't scary anymore. Kanana. If you ever need a mom, come on by. Can't say for sure what you'll find, but. That is, is. won't scare you, but a night at the night can be truly terrifying. It means a bus full of nuns, guzzling demon. How, how can I be demon? And when he says check out his adults, he means it. Don't slow.